Hello everyone, and welcome to Sunday Friends. My name is Miss Jenny, and in God's word from the book of Genesis, we hear about how Adam and Eve did not listen to God. They did not obey his word. Hmm. But if we let God fill us with the Holy Spirit, we can learn how to do the right things. Let's listen to God's word today. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, as we remember how you shared bread and wine with your friends, may we be encouraged to share our food with others so that no one goes hungry. Amen. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If our wrongs are large or small, God will still forgive them all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Let's get our bodies ready to hear God's word. Let's listen with our ears. We'll watch with our eyes, we'll keep our lips and hands quiet, and we'll listen with our hearts. Alleluia, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord, Jesus, King of glory. Once upon a time, in a wonderful place called the Garden of Eden, lived Adam and Eve. They were the first people that God had created and had everything they needed in a paradise filled with beautiful flowers, tall trees, and friendly animals. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed. Paradise was filled with beautiful flowers, tall trees, friendly animals, and good things to eat. God, who had created everything, had given Adam and Eve one important rule. They were allowed to eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden, except for the tree of knowledge. This was a special test for Adam and Eve to see if they would obey God's rule. One day, a sneaky snake slithered over and started talking to Eve. It told her that if she ate the fruit from the tree of knowledge, she would become clever and wise, just like God. Eve was tempted by what the snake had said, and she decided to take a bite from the fruit on the tree of knowledge. She did not listen to what God had said. Eve then offered some of the fruit to Adam. He trusted Eve and also took a bite. Adam didn't listen to God either. Suddenly, Adam and Eve felt very different. They realized that they had turned their backs on God and hadn't listened. They felt ashamed. God saw that they were hiding and asked why they were afraid. Adam and Eve admitted that they had eaten the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge. God explained that their decision to disobey him had consequences that they would now have to face. They would have to leave the Garden of Eden and live in an imperfect world. Adam and Eve knew now the snake had lied to them. They had not done what was good and right. The story of Adam and Eve teaches us that breaking God's rules has consequences. But it also reminds us that even when we make mistakes, we know that God's love will always be there to help and guide us. God loves us and knows what is best for us. You can't go wrong if you do the right thing.
Now it's time to say yes to God to show we believe in him. Do you believe in God who made you and me? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus whose mother is Mary? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus came to show us how to live and to love? Yes. Do you believe Jesus died for us on the cross to open heaven above? Yes. When we need help to follow him each and every day, God gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us on our way. Amen. Let us pray for others. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all those who bring the word of God to people all over the world. May they be brave and courageous. Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the people who are living in places where there is fighting. May they one day live in peace. Jesus, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our families at home and at church. May we all spread your hope and peace wherever we go. Jesus, hear our prayer. Now tell Jesus what you would like to pray for. Jesus, hear our prayer. Jesus, help us to follow you each day and ask for the help of your Holy Spirit. Be with us always so that in our own small way, we can help to make our world a place of peace and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for Jesus, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine for others. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Won't let sneaky snake blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let sneaky snake blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let sneaky snake blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thank you.